about to be. When I read uh, this <coughs> incredible script, I realized <coughs> it's, it's a beautiful story. It's an incredible story. <coughs> it's uh, my character. I, <coughs> I think in this moment, it's an amazing character, dramatic character, but I speak, I spoke with Alejandro and, and, and told him, Alejandro, I was, I was, uh, I fear, I was fear, because maybe the audience, especially in the United States, hate Amelia, because Amelia do the, hace una, hace una, toma una decisión equivocada. She makes a wrong decision. Y pone en riesgo a dos niños norteamericanos. And she puts two American children at risk. Alejandro me dijo entonces que yo no, no tuviera miedo que justamente esta película trataba de que el, el espectador norteamericano de donde fuera pudiera ponerse en los zapatos de este ser humano. And Alejandro told me not to worry, that the, that was exactly what the movie was about, to try to get the audience, whether it was a North American audience or whoever it was, to put themselves in the shoes of that character. Realmente cuando, cuando yo hice Amelia, eh, había muchas cosas como persona en las que yo me sentía no de acuerdo con Alejandro y con Guillermo. La principal era dejar a esos niños en el desierto. When we started to work on the film, there were several things that I personally did not feel I could agree with Alejandro and, um, and Guillermo. And the main one was leaving those children in the desert. And Alejandro and I um, discutimos, no, no discutimos eh, mal, sino hablamos mucho acerca de que no había de otra para esta mujer. Es salvarlos a los niños o morirse todos. Esa, esa sería una de las partes, la segunda parte. La primera, obviamente, fue pensar que ustedes, como audiencia, específicamente los norteamericanos, no quisieran este personaje. Segundo, es un personaje que abandona a dos niños en el desierto, norteamericanos o no. Well, so Alejandro and I argued about this. We didn't so much argue and fight about it as we discussed it. Um, the main thing. First of all, there was the, the problem of whether an American public, a North American public, might hate this character because she was leaving the children in the desert. Um, but then it was brought up that the, there was a thing, the decision was, did they all die in the desert or did she go find help for them to try to help them survive? And the second decision would have been just to, to leave the children in the desert. In this, mo in this moment, in this moment, where this um, huge problem, immigration, um, yo no quería, yo no quería como mexicana, de verdad, que el, el público americano, contribuir a que el público americano no quisiera más a mis compatriotas. As a Mexican, I really, really didn't want the, the North American to contribute to the fact that the North American public would stop loving my compatriots. <laughs> yes, of course, because uh, puede ser que eh, para el, el, la, la audiencia norteamericana, los mexicanos o los latinos o los hispanoamericanos pudieran no ser solamente un problema y no tomarnos en cuenta como parte de una sociedad y de una solución, simplemente, y como parte de una sociedad, y yo tenía miedo realmente, yo principalmente. And I was afraid that the North American audience would find themselves thinking of Latinos or Hispanics or Spanish-speaking people as simply a problem, and not as part of, just simply a part of society, as part, part perhaps of a solution, but mainly as simply one more portion of society. That's what I personally was afraid of. Alejandro told me with my um, Alejandro me dijo que íbamos a trabajar como en Amores Pedros íbamos a tratar de hacer un personaje humano completamente para que cualquier tipo de audiencia pudiera entender a esta mujer como ser humano solamente 
And Alejandro told me that we were going to work the same way as we had in Amores Perros, that we were going to work to make this a true, absolutely true human being, so that any audience, wherever they were from, would simply understand this as a human being. We work very, very hard to um, deeply in this character and doing sin many times until the sin is real, is like a mental, is a real human being. Wait, Adriana, you brought a lot to that. There is so much physicality in that role. Those scenes with you in that desert was just amazing and I know that that was, had to be physical, you, you gained weight, it was hot. I heard you one time before tell the story about how you almost passed out. It was like 100 degree plus weather in Mexico when she was doing those scenes in the desert and, and that was like at six in the morning so it was crazy and that commitment. But, but mostly what I love, and Kim I want to hear from you next about this, is how we use, and Timothy, you did something on domestic violence, how we use fear as motivating. How we use fear and failure and when all odds are against us to get to where we need to be. So, Kim, let me hear from you for a minute because I know that this has to have been part of your long career as well. Um, well, every time, uh, the first fear comes up when you actually get the job because you really, really, some jobs you really, really want to be offered. And then you get the job and all of a sudden you're really afraid that you have no idea how you're going to do it. So... Um, and then, for some reason, the fact that there is, you know, there is no direct route to the end lets you free yourself from it a little bit because you just have to accept that each step of the way will lead you to the next step. And in a lot of circumstances, you go to very strange countries that you've never been to and you end up in situations where um, I was in China a little while ago on the Mongolian border and we had we were in an abandoned hotel. And <laughs> the only way to, for me to cook to boil water to dye the clothes was to cook them on a coal burning stove but I had to share the pots with the people in the kitchen who were cooking our lunch. <laughs> so, and for them to get the water to the pot they had to carry them long way so